Let me show you why cranking your vent up to 100% FiO2 isn't fixing your hypoxemic patients. So let this balloon represent the alveolar capillary membrane. And this is a patient with atelectasis. Their alveoli are blah, they're not nice and stretched out. We're going to employ fix law. Fix law tells us two things, that the rate of diffusion of a gas across the membrane is directly proportional to the concentration of that gas and indirectly proportional to the thickness of that membrane. Now I know what you're thinking. The easy answer, if your patient is hypoxic, instead of giving them a small amount of oxygen, crank that FiO2 up to 100%. But look what's happening. Yes, you're getting light around the balloon because the balloon isn't as big as the flashlight, but the super bright flashlight still isn't passing through the balloon because the membrane is too thick. But if you can, instead of just cranking up your FiO2 to 100%, give the patient some peep, that was a brand new balloon and really hard to blow up. Now that alveolar capillary membrane is thinned out. And so you can take your lesser FiO2 and able to pass those oxygen molecules through the alveolar capillary membrane. You don't need an FiO2 of 100%. You might only need 50 or 60% because you're going to diffuse those oxygen molecules now that the membrane is thinner. So I hope that helps you understand why PEEP is just as important as FiO2 in the patient with hypoxemia.